All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, this is going to be a second um, entry to the American Truck Simulator uh, gameplay for us. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a different load instead of us. If you watched last video, uh, it was us going from Cali to Arizona. Now we're going from Arizona back to Cali. It's, uh, it's a little bit longer of a route this time. Uh, so if you just want to hang out, um, Coleman is not here this time. Uh, he uh, had some some engine issues in his in his truck, uh, them damn cat motors. But uh, if you want to sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show, what's wrong? What? <laughs> That's what I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. A, I'm running a Cummins. All right. Well, cat. I'm gonna go ahead and lead. Um, I've got the uh, the heavy haul. I've got a. Uh, tractor in the back and then the uh, other guys behind me uh, are, are running lumber yep we're gonna go build a barn so that way we can store the uh, tractor in we Hell got yeah. a, a farmer that that needs our assistance so we're off to give him what he needs give him some exactly. wood that <laughs> um, I am gonna roll in third person this time uh, I know last time I rolled in first person pretty much 95% of the, the way. Uh, I'm going to roll in third person so that way you guys can see a little bit more of the surroundings and everything. Make sure you let us know in the description below if you would like to see us rolling in third person or first person. Uh, I know first person feels a little more authentic, but third person you get to see a lot more scenery, a lot more of the road and everything. So uh, we'd like to know what your thoughts are. Damn, I can't believe my truck got up to speed this quick with this heavy load on the back. What uh, what's your cruise set at? Uh, I haven't cruised yet. Um, 65? I'm sitting at 65 right now. Yeah, we're going to sit at 65. Okay, uh, looks like it's not going to let me go over that, so I'm retarded at 65. So okay. I'll set my, <laughs> set my cruise there. <laughs> retarded at 65 years old. Sad life. Wow. Unreal. Yeah. I can't believe you just went there, Mike. What a guy. Great or can you guy. believe I went there? No, I, I believe it. Did I just... Oh, I thought I cut somebody off with you guys honking. <laughs> it was the guy <laughs> coming on the other side of the road. Yep. Because <laughs> I went over on the left to, to see if I can get a better angle at you guys. And all of a sudden, as soon as I did it, I heard honking. I was like, oh shit, did I just cut somebody off? <laughs> Uh, I would have felt so bad. <laughs> it's all right. They'd understand. Shit happens. Yeah. I'll look. At, look at, okay. I kind of like third person better, just so that way I can see the scenery too. Oh yeah, I agree. Oh, uh, except I'm I'm all over the road looking around. <laughs> That's uh. There's the pros and cons list to, to <laughs> having third person. A double edged sword. You see this uh, old trailer park on the right hand side? Oh, that's sick. I think that's where Paul met Ma. Yeah? I mean, it makes sense. Or was that rehab? I can never tell with Paul's stories. I don't know. I don't even remember <laughs> half the things he says because they don't make sense. He'll say one thing and then he'll start talking about another. And don't do drugs, kids. And you just. He intermingles his stories. I don't even think he knows what he's saying half the time. He doesn't. I'm going to hang out in the left lane because I do get a little bit of a better angle on you guys. 10-4. But we're all capped at 65, so I don't think we'll be... Damn, I'm cruising up this right now at 65 miles an hour with this thing on behind me. Yeah, and I'm... I'm gaining up on you and I don't know why because I'm at 65 also feel like I'm about to take old Mikey Mike your load doesn't look even well it does there it looked lopsided for a second it happens you can pass me and uh, get some uh, shots of Dixie's trailer I can't go any faster than this You don't slow down too much or you won't be able to catch back up. Yeah, I will.
God, this truck is just so take beautiful. A, I love uh, this thing so much. I was gonna have us take a look at Mike's front of his truck, but didn't let he slowed, me. He slowed down I'm, too fast. I'm, I'm coming. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you are. There my dude. That's what she said. All right, we've gone about a hundred miles so far, guys. We have Look, six more like of those nothing. to go, and we'll be there. I'm probably going to do a fuel stop halfway through. Yeah, I'm about two thirds. Yeah, so yeah I'm, same. I'm about a quarter. Okay. Well, then we definitely need to get there fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't have a anything uh, else to say about that. Uh, I have about um. Well, it says I have about 867 miles yet. How do you see e. how many miles you have left? Um, so if you flex your eye muscle, I can actually see how much. So I have 116 gallons left, and my distance is 855 miles. That does not work for me. I like your, I your tracks see. on that tractor. Yeah. It's not mine, it's the farmer's man. He's paying us a good amount of money. Three trucks, three oh, different yeah. loads. I think I'm getting like 50 grand for this lumber. Yeah, it's the same with me. Let me see. Yep, $47,102. Just for hauling some lumber from state to state. I don't know why I didn't get it closer. I mean, I'm, I'm sure yeah, we don't have that primo lumber. Well, he also might have gotten a better deal out of state. Yeah. It's all these pine trees, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know Cali likes to rack up a premium on all, most of their stuff. Yeah, they pay taxes on taxes. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> and then fine people for plastic straws. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, Cali's a, a weird state. There was gas. Uh, once we get some gas, I want to get a, a picture. We could have we stopped for gas and Flagstaff. So we can go ahead and put it up on the uh, the company's uh, Facebook, showing what we're doing right now. Yeah. Because uh, I think uh, us three r running for this guy will uh, hopefully show our dedication to uh, our customers that will run three different trucks for three different loads at the same time, so everything reaches the destination at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I'm slowing down, dramatic. Dramatic. Dramat what 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 am I trying Dram to say here? Drastically. Dramatically. Drastically. No, drastically, Mike. Yeah. Jesus. We're slowing down dramatically. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Damn, your truck is loud as hell right now. I know, I'm trying to slow down and then not lose too much speed as I like me. Slow down. Yeah, because you're way back there, aren't you? I'm coming back up. Oh, I'm you're not, not that you're far. not too far. The only thing that sucks about uh, pulling this long of a trailer is I know when I go to get fuel, I'm going to have to pick and choose my fuel stations. Well, I'm sure we or can I'm gonna be, figure I'm gonna it be out. I'm out like a sore thumb in the middle of the road. And... I know a lot of these stations up here or that we, we stop at have a lot of easy access for us. Hopefully we can get one that's just right off the highway. Yeah. Hope we can get a heart so I can give me a sub, man. I got some good food there. Yeah, I could I could eat. I got a piss too. Yeah. I mean we can take a little little rest break while we're there. Grab us a drink or some a sandwich. Yeah, I definitely gotta pee and I got a I got a bag of trash from the last few loads I probably should throw away. Yeah, I, I keep so, uh all of I've it been in my living, my door. Yeah, I've been living in this thing for few weeks now so every, I don't want to talk about it every every time you stop man you got to clean it out that's the rule every time you stop for gas clean out your door and just stuff it in your door in the little compartment on the bottom yeah I probably should I just I I have it so like right next to hey right, hey right underneath, what goes go ahead and move over to the left or right lane so this guy can pass you he's coming up fast but uh, usually, uh, so like right underneath my refrigerator in the sleeper area, um, I got a, I got a nice, 
um, trash can area that I usually, and it, it contains the smell. So it's not like it smells in here. It's just, I definitely accumulate a lot after, I mean, I eat on the road and then I usually, sometimes I pack my lunch in plastic bags and stuff. Do you have a, a piss bottle back there too? Trucker um, bombs. Yeah, but usually one of those, like that's something that I definitely get rid of every time I stop. Yeah, you, I, you do got to do a uh, apple juice. Do an apple juice gallon. Yeah. Because the uh, mouth is wide enough for you to be able to go when you need to go. Oh yeah. uh, no, I use Aquafina bottle. I ain't got much girth. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, not surprised about that one. I was the the blessed child. And uh, if you guys were wondering how we're actually doing this. Uh, we're talking here is we actually have our trucks all Bluetooth um, so we're just on a three-way call um, we decided not to hog up the uh, the airways of the CB so that way people don't hear us just conversating the whole way but we are on a we were on a three-way call or we decided when we bought our built our trucks um, we wanted to get like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in our in our uh, trucks we spared no expense, that's for damn sure. Honcho money. Hell yeah, brother. We got we got enough of it, might as well use it. All the latest technology. Hence why our, our trucks are all all decked out. Looking yep. looking fly. For some white guys. Hell yeah. I feel like I need to slow down a little bit. Dixie's losing some speed. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm going, uh, I'm dropping it down to about 60 up the hill. Oh, we're actually dropping pretty low. We're at about 57, 56. Yeah, I that hit my brake. Um, I just tapped it and then hit my gas, so that way I didn't lose too much. Yeah. Uh, and we're pretty much dead even. That's good. Somehow I've caught back up with a cap of 65. That's good. Uh, I was just hitting 68. Shouldn't be doing that. We're staying pretty well online too. I'll say I'll say that. Yeah. We're staying pretty close to each other too, and it's not we're not having very much issues. Yeah, we don't have anybody actually going back and forth from truck to truck. This trip's going by pretty quick. Oh man, there's a Mac Anthem. Oh my god, they're so nice. I think that's definitely going to be the uh, the next truck that, after I hit 100,000 miles in this thing, I might... Uh, you going to switch? Really? It, you going to switch from the PD? Might, might put this thing uh, to rest a little bit and do a full rebuild on it. And then while I'm doing that, I'll I'll get myself into a Mac Anthem. I've got a few of them. I let my, my drivers take over them. I definitely feel like I would want to get in one and then just drive and see where the road takes me sometime you know see how it goes oh dude they're, I like they're this Kenworth so nice though. I'm just I'm a Pete guy I don't know I'm not a Kenworth guy I mean I'm not like dead set on the brand but this truck I've just never had any issues with it it's always gotten me where I needed to go it, it has the power I need it, it just it does everything it, it is yeah, kind of like, low, so I'll probably want something a little, little taller if I need to do some, some more heavy yeah, hauling or off roading or something. If we have to work our way up for lumber, um, into like the lumber states or, um, upstate Cali, or uh, if we have to work our way up to, um, uh, like Washington or Oregon area, I uh, definitely would recommend getting something a little taller because I know some of those, uh, those logging roads up the mountain um they're all dirt and stuff and they are they are not easy on trucks let's just say that yeah maybe i'll bust out one of the Macs that i have already for that i know uh, that'll be a good I, good way for me to determine what one i like better make sure you come all the way left go you're, ahead, you're clear you give them guys the space they need all right, you're good. You can move forward back to the right lane. Good 
can't believe we haven't seen a, a, a rest stop gas station anywhere. I need, I'm definitely, I mean, I'm not low. Like I've got 84 gallons left, but I've got 622 miles. So I don't want to, I don't want to cut it close. Cause I know I can basically, I want to say I can cut this mileage in half with the load that I'm pulling. Yeah. Well, we got 400 miles to go. I mean, and... this thing definitely is not struggling to pull it by any means. How much did you, do you have? Uh, so this thing, the the actual weight of the the tractor itself is fifty five thousand, not including but the weight much, of the trailer. How much gas did you have when you started? Oh, um, when I started, I had about half. And what and do you have I'm now? Below, below a quarter. Okay, so we're less than halfway there. So I we definitely need to find a place. Yeah. Or you're not gonna make it. Right. Oh, look, there Ooh, we go. Is, yeah, that's, wow. That is really nice. Yeah. We're going across Colorado, Colorado River. Yeah, Colorado River. Oh, we got some oil lines to the left. Yes, we do. And we got that's... some some fenced-in oil lines to the right. We just uh, crossed California. Well, got some guys talking over the CB. Sometimes it's a bunch of jibber jabber. Yeah. Mike I think, didn't. Uh, I think they're probably trying to come up on the left, and Mike didn't say anything, so. Oh, okay. They're probably not quite up here yet. There you they're go. coming up next to you now. Oh, gas station to the right at the way station. We're gonna go ahead and make a transition over there. Absolutely. I don't know what that guy's saying. He's it's like he's talking and his mic's away from him. He's probably got to push to talk and then still talking way away. Way away. Yeah. Great verbiage. I, English is good. English is much good. All right, let's see how much we need. See how much this runs my uh, my debit card here. Ooh, 145 I gallons. Card. 586 dollars. 220 gallons, 891 dollars. How big is your tank? You uh, got 300. Gallon. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull up here. I want to get a picture for the Facebook. I still gotta get gas. I'm gonna tell you uh, right definitely now. Not right. Yeah, I would definitely not recommend. I was gonna pull right here. I am we'll not up. about to be backing this thing up. No. Oh, shit. Why don't we get you in the center? All right. Pull back around and then cut it and then be oh. pull right next okay. to me. $631. And then, Mike, you could just stay right there. Or yeah, towards gonna, the back, and then once come... he goes in the center, then you could go on the other opposite side of him, so we can have the lumber on the sides, and he can be in the center. Yep, yep. That's ten four, good buddy. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. My truck's so much bigger than yours. I also have the flat top sleeper on it. You have the high mount. Oh yeah. Which is funny because I'm tall. I'm tall. My bed. Oh, where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> my. <laughs> my bed in the back here. You can see. Yeah. Is way up there. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and grab a picture real quick. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. Let's 
Let's see. Oh, it looks like my bull bars was a little lopsided there, but it's not. Must have just been the angle I was at. I was just about to say something. I'm like, wow, it looks kind of lopsided. And then I just turned my camera and I'm like, oh, no, it fixed it. Boom. <clears throat> All right. All right. We're gonna, yep. <clears throat> All right. Let's get back on the road, guys. Are you taking second or you want me to? Go ahead. They're Turker germs. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, did you get your job taken? Yep. <laughs> they took me germ at the mechanic shop. Damn, I am trucking right now. Yeah, yeah you are. Is your wife with you, Mike? She no, I left there? her at the house. No, I dropped her back off in Holbrook. Oh. So, uh, on a full tank, <clears throat> if, uh, on a full tank of diesel, I can go 2,157 miles. Damn. You haven't filled up in a while then, did you? Nope. That, that was, uh, that was my whole trip, um, to where we, uh, originally picked up our first load from, uh, from our last, uh, talk show episode, and then, um, to where we just were was that was the full thing and uh not including the route i had before we picked that one up yeah are you floored right now yeah we were going up the hill though uh just keep in mind as well i can see a, a pretty steep incline coming up mm -hmm. and uh that's gonna it's gonna do me over yep i feel like mike's probably yeah, Mike's oh, right I'm coming. There. Gonna take a minute, but I'm coming. I must just have the power to get up them a little easier. My load's governed at 69. <clears throat> Interesting load amount. <laughs> right? How do you like, uh, I just put new straight pipes on this thing. How's it sound? Sounds good. Seems pretty loud in the cab, and I don't know about you. Uh, how loud is it on the outside with the windows down? Pretty loud. I can, I can hear it. It sounds pretty meaty. It's got that, that chugging, that chug, chug, chug. That, that Cummins mm -hmm. growl to it. You have the cat, I have the, the, so we have the, we actually have the same amount of torque. So we have 2,050 torque. You just have about 15 more horsepower than I do. Yeah. But she's doing it. Yeah, I was, when I went beside you, I let off. And I just listened to your engine. I should have cracked the Jake break. Here, I'll, I'll, now. I'll hit it. You ready? Wait, wait for me to get up here. Alright, I'm coming up. All right, hit it. I didn't even hear it. Really? Nope. Listen, can you I hear mine? It. Uh, barely. Oops. Yeah, I must. Uh, we must have uh, the little flapper on it. Yeah. Oh, Tommy flapper. Yeah. I mean, it's loud when I'm inside of 
when I have the uh, first person. Yeah. It's real loud. Don't worry about slowing down. I'll catch up. All right. Oh, we got a plane going right over the road. Uh, oh, yeah. he's he sprayed GMOs on us. Non-GMO here. Non-GMO treated wood. <laughs> I non-GMO treated tractor. I don't even know. Full fully accepted of Rona though. Yes. We're the backbone of America. Ain't no virus gonna stop us. We got some vultures circling overhead too. Must be where oh. Coleman's at. Oh, we hit a. Uh, we officially hit twenty nine thousand miles in the truck, guys. Nice. Tomorrow will be thirty thousand on her. You know what number is worse than six six six? What six six five? Because you're about to meet the devil. No, uh, twenty twenty. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey oh. we got some hot air balloons off to the right. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, uh, just oh, come shit. in sight now. My bad. Guessing oh. you turned the car off. Um, I don't want to talk about it. I had to do a quick module reset. I know what's over there. It looks like there's some something up there. Something going on. Yeah, I mean, there's not only the hot air balloons, but there's like some type of event area up there that looks like. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe they're just power lines. Maybe they're just passing over them. Yeah. Got a tight exit coming up. Not yep. this first one, but it's the second one. How fast you go around it? Uh, I'm going about 35 around it. I took it at 40. Speed limit's 40. It yeah, was hairy. Yeah, I took about four. I'm at zero. No, no. That. Are we stopping? No, you're yeah, good. Let's, let's, why don't we pull over? Or... I'll, I'll catch right back up. I'm right. I can yeah. see you guys. Oh, shit. I didn't know you pulled over, Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're good. You can pass. Make sure you hit it right now, Mike. Yeah, so I was doing it, or taking it, and then I looked away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was taking it good at, at a high <laughs> high rate of speed. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I do. Keep going. At a high, high velocity. And sure enough, I looked away for a second. Turned my head to try to look at the uh, load hitch in the eye, didn't it? <laughs> the way it was going, and I got smacked right in the face. Hey yo. All right, so what do you think about this, guys? When I uh, when I go ahead and hit uh, 100,000, we'll go ahead and uh, rebuild this, and I'll rebuild it into a specific heavy haul truck only. All right. This will be my heavy haul truck. Either that, or I might just go ahead and de designate this as my heavy haul, and I'll just throw. The uh, the banner across the front, and I'll just keep it on there. I don't know, man. I think you need to get yourself a Kenworth for that uh, heavy haul. Ah, uh, nah. I think this Pete is just doing just fine. Oh, I just... I've never been to Barstow before, apparently. All right, we're going to be hitting this exit here.
man, that retarder, man. It, as soon as it hits 65, the engine just cuts off. I can get up to 69 before it, it stops me, but I, I hear nothing. It just completely shuts it all off. Same here. It just basically coasts as soon as it gets to 65. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. It's it's definitely helping on fuel. Oh, God, we got a two-lane road here. This is that road that I almost had, it on, uh, had a head on with somebody. Was it their fault or yours? Oh, it was my fault. <laughs> I believe that. We got one coming up on the left here. Another one coming up on the left. I mean, it's a, for the most part, for this, at least this stretch, it's uh, pretty straight. Uh, well, looks like it uh, breaks off and uh, goes back onto a four-lane highway. Yeah, I'm just curious. What would happen if we broke down right here? <laughs> um, what do you think would hit us first, the heat or the scorpions? <laughs> I mean, we got a pretty good mechanic. His response time is pretty good. That's what we pay him so much for. Yeah, but you still. Oh, man. Sorry. He's still a couple hundred miles away. You need to stop and get some Red Bulls? Yeah, you, your fatigue's coming up high. We might have to uh, stop and take a nap. We're not, uh, we don't got that much farther, though. We're about uh, 164 miles away. I'll make it. Just got to slap the face a few times. Good to go. I usually keep a Red Bull on hand for me when I start to get real tired. I don't try to drink them the whole way through, but I know uh, at least midway through the trip I'll drink one, and then towards the end I'll drink another one. That way I I don't lose um, my energy. I don't start crashing. I See, noticed the last 100 miles or so is when it usually gets to the point where you start to relax more, you know? Yeah. You just you know that it's well, you, coming up yeah, and you, and you think you'd be more excited, thing. but it's like the complete well, opposite. crack. You're like, oh man, <laughs> like, you're like, <laughs> you're. I know. I, I feel See? as though when I start to get closer, like I I start to get sad because I know the trip's over. Yeah. I'm, well, I mean, see, you drink you drink Red Bull, but see, if you drink Red Bull, you gotta pee. If you smoke crack, you don't have to pee. Yeah, you just lose your teeth. And yeah, who needs those anyways? <laughs> they, they have smoothies. <laughs> I guess hey you're wrong. <laughs> I mean, they make smoothies for a reason. I mean, you're not wrong. They do make Jello for a reason as well. Mash taters. Oh God, what are these tumbleweeds? Tumbleweeds. That is cool. I mean, they look like they're lagging out but it's pretty cool to see him make sure nobody is on the left all right oh man got some rvs there uh, uh like little lodges for you to stay in that rest area i wonder what happens there i don't know truck crack Trucker's rest area with lodges. Oh, my man, Dad. <laughs> These guys, man. I know. Some people, they just, they, they get a job, and they make some money, and they go crazy. Yep. You know, even for desert, though, it sure is pretty. It really is. Hey, look, there's uh, some oil pumping going on. Oh, yeah. That's neat. The California crude oil. Oh, he's got We're a, gonna be a pile of wood, through, too. Running through Bakersfield here. I remember that movie. Oh. Gonna have I'm going to be slow hit, down. Hit, hitting the left lane here. Pass one in your left. Pass one in your left. Go ahead, Mike. Go, go, go. 
I'll stay in the back. I like, I'm, uh... I like coming up the rear. Hey yo. I'm sitting at 45 right now. Turns into one lane. Oh, that guy almost stuck his trailer in my lane. Luckily, yeah, he, he didn't have anybody <clears throat> on the right side. Hey, he was all over the place on my screen. <clears throat> hey, look, a protest. Hmm, fitting. It, all right. Le legit a protest, isn't it? It looked like it. There's a group of people standing there. Marching. Hell no, we won't go. I shouldn't make jokes about that. <laughs> we can cut that out, right, Dixie? <laughs> oh no, it's staying on there. That's all Mike Honcho, fellas. Everybody, just so you know, that was Mike Honcho. You're lucky you're not close to me. I was going to slam on my brakes. <laughs> Straight final destination, your ass. Where are you guys at back there? I'm right behind you. Oh, All right. right. I'm right behind him. Oh, we're going to be hanging a right turn here. Less than 100 miles to go. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you know. An awful wide turn. Hanging another left here. Oh, I thought for sure you were going to hit that railing. Who, me? No, Mike. And I said that, and then I hit it. Oh god, we got an accident up here. Oh lord. Lane. All right, you guys are good to get back in the right lane then. Why don't you uh, pass them? Man, those are, those truck accents. Hopefully, that never happens to us. Vamos, vamos. Caete, me confundejo. Caete, me confundejo. Mike, you're rubber banding. <laughs> I'm staying in the left lane now. Am I? Not on my screen. You're not anymore. You were for a hot second. It looks like you're. It cleared it up. I wish you could see uh, what I'm hauling, Mike. I'm actually quite jealous that I can't. It looks like you're hauling a Play-Doh trailer. Yeah, I'm hauling a giant, like, tractor. Like, I mean, this thing is fucking huge. Oh, you can't see it at all because you don't have the no. DLC. Yep. Oh, so, but you get the like the hitbox and everything on it, right? Like, I don't know. All I see is the trailer. Okay. Well, if you see the trailer, that's what. At least you get the hitbox of where it is, so you don't run into it. Way station. Inspection. What, what way station? No. That's just a rest area. What is this? Communist China? Nobody? Nothing? Nope. <laughs> Nobody wanted to go there, huh? Uh, <laughs> no. No. Mike I don't care. <laughs> Mike already crossed the line with the uh, with the whole protest thing. I think. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We can. We we don't have to. You know, keep bringing it up, Dixie. We're gonna go ahead you know. and st step back from that. Oh my God! I I thought you were stopped. Oh. Okay, I am definitely staying in the left lane now. I don't know why I'm lagging for. Oh yeah, I do. Walmart connection. 
Is that what it is? Well, it was fine, and then all of a sudden, it like, you did an insta-stop, and I almost jolted way over to the left lane, and I hit my brakes a touch, and then you popped right back in front of me uh, in a farther, at a farther distance, if I could ever talk. I feel like this is an ongoing thing with me tonight. And uh, we're getting off here, boys. Oh, wow, we're 17 miles away. Yep. Heading to Fresno? We're on. Damn it, Dixie. Hey. You gonna make it, I Mike? Got a, I got a ginormous freaking tractor behind me and a trailer that's longer than my freaking tension span. I gotta, like, slow down. All right. Well, we're almost up at the the pickup spot for the uh, for the farmer who's gonna end up picking up all the equipment and stuff. He's gonna end up loading it on his own trailer. We just had to bring it down this way. Oh no! I I spoke too soon. I guess we're actually dropping it off right at his farm. Oh, nice. Would you look at that. And looks like he's getting a new uh, combine as well. Man, he is dropping money. Oh, maybe that. It was that uh, other item that Coleman couldn't take. Probably. Because right? there was four items, but we could only get three because of the, the truck issues, so. He probably hired somebody else to do it. I consumed 184 gallons. 184 gallons and it took us about an hour to do that <clears throat> 55 minutes I take it you Hell guys yeah. were in a hurry yep I only uh, consumed 106 gallons I guess well also my uh, load I did 105.5 I'm right over here then. Oh wait, Mike's over there. I'm gonna pull up next to Mike and. Oh, I was dropping my trailer here. Oh, okay. And I was gonna pull over next to you, but yeah, we can. Oh, that's fine. Wait, don't back up. Okay, back up. We'll just pull up there. Oh, yep. We Sweet. are pulling up then. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and back up, and then we'll end our uh, our phone call here and. Hey, ¿cómo le pones cuenta los carros? Sí, sí, yo iba a ponerle, pero como iba a querer sacar el carro rápido, no, um, no le puse. Why don't we get out of here? What? Looks like they're leaving. Es creo que esta banda le cayó polvo, no sé qué banda fue. I think the uh, the next trip I'm going to go ahead and turn off my CB. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. Are you taking that load? Uh, yeah, he is. He might be taking that load. No. You're in the middle of it. Oh, well. Alright, well, I guess that's where we'll end it. Let's go ahead and, uh, I think I'll probably go use that outhouse back there. Yeah, I definitely gotta take a pee. And then so. we'll, uh, we'll get back on we'll the road go. and start start getting these trucks back home uh yeah, thanks for fine. showing up guys appreciate your following uh glad you were able to stick through the whole thing uh make sure you subscribe follow the uh twitch accounts daddy honcho and dixie honcho 
Uh, hit the Twitter account, the Honcho Syndicate, the Facebook page, the Honcho Syndicate. Uh, make sure you share this with your friends. The best way for us to get a, our content out there is for you guys to share it and keep sharing it and keep sharing it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Yep, see you guys. Bye. Bye.